to fight crime rate may rise after COVID-19. That is uh, a statement accredited to someone you may want to find out um, in the story. The story continues on page six. It has uh, three riders. Experts use NSA, beg your pardon, experts urge NSA to strategize against menace, caution against freeing hardened criminals, seek massive investment in police system. That story continues on page six. Uh, right under that one, you have a picture and the story. Presidential Task Force regrets violations at Clarice Burial, downplays infectiousness of victims' corpses, and Lagos will enforce wearing of face mask next next week. You may find out the details of these stories on the front page continues on page six. And that picture is of violators of the Sitatum order arrested by the Federal Capital Territory Ministerial Task Force on COVID-19, serving their punishment in Abuja yesterday. They are sweeping the streets. <coughs> Community service. And to be clean. And, <laughs> and of course, of course, you still find that story of um, uh, foreigners being evacuated from Kaduna to Niger Republic over COVID-19 lockdown yesterday. An FG extends airport shutdown by two weeks as UK evacuates 213. Uh, that story is on page three. Five feared killed in fresh Kiduna attack. I would have thought that this isn't what we would be hearing now, stories like this. And then this one also, Nigeria, others may shut production as oil price goes below zero. You are Joshua Unboxer, I can beat Fury, says, hey, multiple heavyweight champion reveals hit list, among other stories you'll find on the back page and on the inside pages of the Guardian for the Guardian Sports. That's the Guardian this morning. Well, let me see if I can quickly run through Daily Trust for you this morning. They have a pretty alarming story on the front page. You see there, 150 people die in Kano in three days yeah we don't know what that is owing to but that's what the daily trust is reporting this morning undertakers express concern families of victims speak we're investigating that's according to the health commissioner nothing like mass deaths that's according to the covid19 task force and you also see in parenthesis there uh, burials not unusual that's what you find on the front page of Daily Trust, which is reporting the death of 150 people in Kando in three days. Uh, if you look just beneath the nameplate, you see a number of other stories there. Brent crude price drops to $26.72 per barrel as a UTI trades at $1 per barrel. Well, far from the end of coronavirus, as according to the federal government, and you see there, no Ramadan lectures, congregational prayers, Itikaf, that's according to the Sultan. And at the bottom there, uh, COVID-19, COVID-19, Lagos introduced mandatory woman, pregnant mother in UB. And my people in Katsina afraid of bandits more than pandemic. So you see that in some states, uh, the situation is a little more critical. You know, when you tell people social distancing, wash your hands, and in the middle of the night, they cannot sleep because bandits will come and attack them and take even the little palliative that have been distributed. It's a big worry for some things. So I don't know how we're going to solve it, but it's definitely worth talking about, gentlemen. Well, definitely something worth talking about. Um, and as uh, we take on the issues for the day, one thing continues to remain on the forefront, uh, which is our fight against COVID-19, uh, bending the curve, uh, deepening the curve as quickly as we can and as soon as possible so that, as we say, life can go back to the new normal. Because it can't be normal the way it was before. Absolutely. Uh, I'm not sure when we'll start shaking hands again. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people might jettison handshaking for a wave after this, but like like you said, really, it's a new normal we're looking forward to, but we have this mountain to cross, and I believe we can. And the major challenge, if you forgive me, Chimulin, is that, look, we, we on the one hand, we are confronting this health issue, international 
public health issue. On the other hand, is the economic toll it's taking on nations, especially the people. Yeah, so uh, it's going to be incredibly important, you know, the kind of policies we formulate hereafter. Uh, and so that, um, we'll just see what do we do, how do we strategize, are we going to leave? <laughs> I know they're, they're, they're always thinking about what to do, how to come up with that, but then it's got to be really bold and strategic if we need to get to go into the center. But how will they do that if we remain... If the policies remain the way they are, but who knows? We'll all ask be on the National Assembly to see how they work with the executive to formulate something and come up with something good. Time will tell, I guess. So we will be back in just a moment. Stay with us.